All right, so we're all set up for the 2019 uh, Repticon Chantilly Dulles Pet Expo. As you can see, I have the empty table, saving this for the missus. She'll be here shortly to set up her table, Dream Music. If you haven't checked her out, visit her on Instagram at Dream at the Dream Music Trinity. Okay? And uh, she's doing a lot of good things. I'm really proud of her. I'll make sure to get her in some footage and her once her table is set up. But as you see, I got the Rapeshi on deck. Got the bug bowls, big and small. I got Beardy Buffet, Grub Pie, Bug Burger, Veggie Burger, some calcium powder. I've got dragons. They've got food. And these are some head whip blitz. This is a zero possible head whip blitz, and these are 66% possible head wearers. How you doing? Doing good. Genetic stripe dunner. I actually had a customer put a deposit on him and then disappear on me. So he's back up for grabs. More Dunners. Yes, ma'am. Hypo Head Zero Head Trans. Hypo Trans Citrus. This is uh, actually Lima Rita. I've had her for about two and a half, going on three years, and uh, I've never actually produced anything with her. So I'm hoping somebody else will have better luck with her, or either she'll make somebody a really happy pet. One way or the other, like I told you guys, I'm doing some downsizing, so I'm letting go of a few adults. Um, Head zero, translucent head zero and a leatherback possible head zero 100% head trans. I actually really love these two girls, but like I said, I got a downsize. And this big guy right here got him from Hillary All Good, uh, All Good Dragons. I put I put all good dragons in my definite top ten, possibly my top five. I got to go through those numbers in my head, but uh, love Hillary. She produces some amazing dragons, and um, this is a hypo citrus genetic stripe leatherback dunner, 100% head trans. But I am keeping some offspring from him, so I don't really need him. And like I said, I'm trying to make room so that way I can focus in on everybody a little bit more and give everybody a little bit more attention. Get back to to my roots of producing dragons that I know are going to be great pets or possible breeders, potential breeders. So, you know what I mean? Quality over quantity, that's the goal. Little leatherback zero in here. And like I said, this guy, he's from a Wero pairing, Het Wero to Het Wero. So this is actually 66% possible Het Zero. He's also 66% possible Het Trains and head hypo. I gotta go back in here and sex these, sex these guys. If you're wondering how to sex a bearded dragon, you know, get the gender of a bearded dragon at this age, you should check out our video uh, that I posted on how to sex a hatchling bearded dragon. Um, I'll put a uh, link in the description. Ruthless with the plug. <laughs> yeah, this guy right here is gold. I mean, he is gold. Look at those bars, look at that blue, look at that color, look at that stripe, he is just gold. He's like, come on buddy, I don't know where I'm at, what's going on? It's another hypo citrus genetic stripe down I produced uh, late last year. But this guy, he's, he's, he's a bit of a slow grower, so he'll just be a pet only. And what I do is, whenever I try to, whenever I sell a dragon like this, I make sure to inform the customer that this is a pet only or recommended to be pet only dragon. He'll live a normal and healthy life, I'm pretty sure, but I just don't see him reaching uh, really a breeder size or something that I would want to breed. It's not to say that he won't reach adulthood and be able to breed, um, you know, but it's just not something I want to do. Uh, you know, I've, I've had ideas before, like taking a smaller dragon like this, a smaller Viticeps, and crossing it to a Rankins to get Vitikins, if you've ever heard of Vitikins, but, uh, Eh, I don't know if it's something that I ever dwell into. I don't feel like getting chewed out by the reptile community for being adventurous, okay? 
family owned and operated since 2013 and it's 2019 six years strong so i'm gonna walk around the rest of the show and show you guys uh like i said when she gets here i'll wait till she gets here so i can show you her table and i'll be sure to walk around the rest of the show everybody's still setting up now as you can see and uh you know, so I wait till everything's set up before I walk around and give you guys a tour of what's going on with the show. All right, so she finally arrived. That's her. That's the beautiful missus there. Oh, look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Ooh, woo, woo. Woo, woo. Woo, woo. More kids on the way. And there's my baby, Demi Cherie, the Pagona princess. She's holding down the fort for her mom. And this is Dream Music. It's all set up. Why didn't you put a bracelet on that one? You just got it there, sitting there, and that model in the bracelet? Yeah. She did these paintings herself. That's the Dream Music Trinity symbol. Here's the card. About to plug her right quick. Because I'm ruthless with the plug. Let's focus in right quick. I think my lens is dirty, guys. Hold on. All right, you with me? Cool. Now we in there. Yep, so that's the uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Gmail, website. She's she's about her business, folks. She's got all kind of platforms. Huh? And as you know, I was already set up doing it doing what I do best you know oh yeah and there's Puff Puff Daddy as you already know Puff Baby, Puff baby. excuse me Puff Baby so I'm going to walk around and show you guys the show and this isn't the biggest show but it's a great show you know what I mean the vendors here are vendors that care And it's also a dog and uh, cat expo, as you can see. So over here, we have all kinds of, uh, what is the word I want to use? Uh, like plush accessories, like these snakes. See, we got the sequin snake, which I think is pretty cool. Decals and stickers. Necklaces. And as you see, this is Soul Cats, jewelry and apparel, wild lifestyle. This is actually one of my favorite booths at every show. My daughter's too, because she, she always has to spend my money over here. Okay, put it down. Okay. All kinds of fun accessories. All kinds of toys here at Soul Frog. It's always a pleasure seeing them at the Repticons. If you're ever at a Repticon and you bring the kids, or if you just come by yourself, you definitely want to stop by this table. And that's for the reason why, right there, folks. That is the reason why. You'll hear that sound from miles away when you walk into the Repticon and wonder who let their frogs loose. <laughs> come on, girl. You got one at home. Got a blue tonk skink. All right, hold on, folks, because someone's at my booth. Got to check it out. All right, and I'm back. Red tail boa. It's beautiful. Some baby tegus. 
Your Mastix. Bearded Dragons. Bearded Dragons. Demi. Okay, we'll come and tell them about the animals then. What kind of lizard is that? A uh, what? A uh, what? A uh, what? Iguana? No, that's a Kinsey monitor. A Kinsey monitor. And what is this? And a snake. Yep, a foul snake. Beautiful. I love house snakes. I don't love house snakes. Look at this retic. You gotta say excuse me, baby. You can't just walk over people. Say excuse me. And then here's a little small animal. I don't know what it is. It's a dwarf gecko. Set up. See the little dwarf geckos? Look at all those savannas. Got some African fat tails. Excuse me. Come on, babe. Skinks. Frogs. Scorpions, excuse me. Oh, centipedes. Centipede again. That one just looks a little ugly. Right <laughs> <around. laughs> Oh, look at the tarantulas. Some cool stuff over here. Over here you got Pokemon cards. Cuban night on those. What are those water dragons? Or iguanas? Oh, basilisk! Look at that brown basilisk. Look at that one. Here's another basilisk. Which one's the male and which one's the female? Show me the male. Very good. And that's the female. Very good. They're so smart. Red eye tree frogs. Bio tanks. Look at that. Look at this one, bud. It's a monkey tailed skink. What? Right there. See him? It don't look like a monkey tail. It's a monkey tailed skink. Look at this. This is a clown agama. Or a painted Agama. Leave us a clown though. Big old beardy. Big old beardies. Dark frogs. Look at the dark frogs. See how colorful they are? Look at those tree frogs. What's going on? You 
You see the tree frogs? Watch your step. Pac Man. Pac Man frogs, see him? Why is it called Pac Man? Because they eat like Pac Man. <laughs> Food yeah. Funny. Tokes. Um, do you know if they're fed? Uh, Ooh, golden like geckos. Those, those are pretty. Are those some pretty golden geckos? Those are really pretty. And this is the snake of my dreams. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Hypo granite rates it. Oh, that's beautiful. One day, folks, one day. Scorpions, very good. Look, baby. Oh, look at that. Look, come look. Look at this, they change the colors. See him? Big little one. Oh, I love the little baby scorpions. That's so cool. You like that? Uh huh. Huh? Let me try. No, you don't get to try. You get to watch. <laughs> Tegus. 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 Look at this Mata Mata. Mata Mata. That is a huge turtle. Mata. Yes, what kind of turtles are they? Do you know? Uh, I think they're just turtles. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at that one. I know. Like I think that's like a Sri Lankan turtle. Yeah, I think it is. What is it? Oh, no, this is an Indian star. Okay. It might be the same thing. I don't know. Oh, look at this one. What is that? You know what that is? That's a blue tongue skink. Can I see its tongue? See? There it goes. Ooh, it's blue. It is blue. It's really, really big. Yes, this is in a gopher snake. It's an albino applegate gopher snake. He likes apples. <laughs> no, it's called an applegate. That's just the name. It doesn't eat apples. It's an albino applegate gopher snake. Argus monitors. I love Argus monitors. They're really cool looking. And they're really good eaters. I like to watch them eat. And they get a nice size. Come on. Watch where you going. Look at that boa. Yeah, it's so cute. Look at this baby chameleon. Very good. What kind of chameleons are they? Do you know? They're veiled chameleons. Look at that blue tongue skink. He's really nice. Yeah. He's pretty. Isn't he pretty? Yeah, it looks like he's about to make mud. Mud? Yeah, that's exactly what he's about to make. Another tree python? Yeah. I've never seen a tame tree python, guys, just for the record. All right, I'm not saying they're lying, I'm just saying, man, I'm not gonna be the one to find out, but that thing is pretty. It's oh so pretty. Uh, another tegu. All right, we're gonna go back and check on our table.
What's going on? Hope you guys don't mind. I'm uh, YouTubing. All right, so this is actually day two of the show. It's a three-day show. I was supposed to walk around and finish this up yesterday, guys, but I, I got busy. This is KBK Reptiles. You can find them at www.facebook.com slash KBK Reptiles. That's the KBK Reptile family. All right. And, of course, because their name's KBK Reptiles, they have reptiles. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. We got some geckos. It's been a good show, right? Running low is a good sign, folks. If I come to somebody's table on the second day and they tell me they're running low, I'm going to ask them to borrow money after the show, okay? Just know that. That's how we do that. Yeah. <laughs> got some pods up here. That's like the only ball python I recognize like immediately. A pod. Oh, you got some skeleton heads? Ah, I see. That's like, uh, that's my project right now. I got a uh, skeleton head, uh, genetic stripe, uh, head pod, and then I got a skeleton head, head pod female. So male and female. Hopefully I'm going to get some scaleless pads at some point in my life, right? The skeleton heads, man, I, I love, it. like the scaleless balls, I'm just like, sheesh. I you produced the lemon blast in the last year. You did? Lemon blast and then you also produced the killer blast. And they sell fast, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Because there's not a lot of them. Yeah. Well, we've had a lot of these in a while, but there's a lot of pastel scales heads out there. So. so, if I were to ask you what your favorite reptile on the table is right now, what would it be? We sold a lot of good Oh, okay. So, so basically, we're working with the, uh, the leftovers. Is that what you're telling me? Gecko-wise, we have a lot of crazy geckos, and then we have some harlequins. These are like oh. super black harlequins right here. Okay. Oh, that is nice. black. That's really nice. Basically, almost like a tricolor right there. But what we got left, I'd definitely say probably uh, some like the piebald or python. Yeah, this one right here is super pastel lace. That's a newer gene. And this is That's a super nice, pastel lace. Yep. Yeah, we work with the lace gene. Right. That's oh, really yeah, pretty. Oh, no, it's like blushed out at the bottom too. That's really nice. Yeah, you guys gotta Quality stuff over here, folks. If you're ever at a reptile show and you see that sign, you know where to go, okay? Tell them I sent you. Tell them that I sent you. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, so are these males are, are you already sex these no, at this no, point? These guys ain't sex right here. We usually don't guarantee sex until they're after like ten or fifteen grams. Are these all in the same are these all related? Um no. These are different ones. Some of them are related, some aren't. Basically all we have left is like red bi colors and stuff like that. We have this dude right here, he's produced some super dials. Probably end up being a really nice dalmatian as he gets older. He's oh, okay. already getting big uh, ink blots and stuff in there, so yeah, all we have left are basically all these little red bi colors and whatnot. <laughs> it's pretty though. The show kind of cleaned this out. We had about hey, 20 babies. Man, I'm, I'm over there with a bunch of empty tubs trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life. I know, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? But I appreciate you. Definitely. It's nice talking to you. Alright. Like I said, guys, KBK Reptiles, come and check them out. Going to walk around the rest of the show. Alright, so if you are into hog noses, then this is the man to talk to. If you are into hog nose snakes, then I have just given you the holy grail of hog nose snake holder. This is the guy who knows all about the hog noses. I mean, his animals always look exceptional. Everybody always looks so fat and well fed. That's the card, guys. So if you're looking for a hog nose, I just gave you where to go. All right, don't, don't say I never did anything for you. Ancient reptiles, Western hog noses. Brian Boswell, this is who you want to talk to for hog nose snakes, okay? Got some beautiful snakes over here. Toffee conda, possible head caramel, and hypo. This is one of my favorite ones to look at right here. That tricolor hog nose. Oh, mine too. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Like, oh my god. That one is more vivid. Look at that. That's very beautiful. That is beautiful. It doesn't give me the creepy zoo. I like hog noses a lot. I really, I really like the way they look. They have that approachable look. Oh, yeah, right. 
Oh, I need more space in my house. Or a bigger house. Look at that one. Yeah, I'm adding on a 12 by 12 to my snake room. <laughs> I'm just like, man, I, I'm at this point, I'm about to start putting reptiles in the bathroom. I'm like, my, mine's 12 by 18 now. Shh. Look at that. That is beautiful. An addiction. Isn't it? So that's where you need to go. You see that sign, you know. You're safe. Western hog no snakes. Ancient reptiles. And now, moving on along to the what do I what do I call these? Invertebrates? Yeah. Invertebrates. That because I always want to say arachnids. Yeah, but I But you sell like much, other stuff too. So pretty much mostly what I have though. I don't have like centipedes. Either. Lots and lots of arachnids. You got a business card? I'm gonna show everybody. There we go, folks. That's let me focus in on that. Classic Jurassic, classic Jurassic exotics. I like that. All right, Nicholas Grant. That's who you need to talk to if you're looking for spiders. All kinds of spiders. And I'm not even gonna pretend to be an expert on spiders, guys. Okay. I used to squash them before I started coming to reptile shows. Now I see all these tarantulas, and I just like want one so bad. But I know I'll be homeless if I bring one home. But look at them. I mean, like, look at the detail. Like, look at those legs. So let me ask you, what would you say is the most interesting spider on the table right now? You don't see those very often. And this is called a... It's a Mexican orange beauty. Mexican orange beauty. Sheesh. Got some scorpions. I love how the scorpions look under that light. Little baby school beans. Got some lepers over here too. Okay, and this is a Herman, folks. And this is a tortoise, not a turtle, guys. I'm sorry. I said turtle. Are right, they tortoises, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they eating? <laughs> oh, man, I missed it. I gotta catch that again. So you guys are about to witness a turtle eat. Hold on, let me wipe my lens. And then my phone dies. Yeah, that's fine. How does my phone die? I'm, I'm, Thank you.